Hey folks, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. And today's video is just going to be a quick show and tell uh, of some products coming from Turbines RC. Mostly some really nice JP products. Uh, Turbines RC is a European uh, distributor and they have a ton of stuff over there. We've partnered up with them to show you some of their things and uh, I have a lot of uh, a lot of viewers over in uh, Europe that have wanted uh, that said, man, we can never use your links or whatever. Well, now you guys can. So thanks to the guys at Turbines RC. I do have links in the description below that you guys can check out all sorts of things at, uh, at Turbines RC. And if you guys are in the USA, check this out because I got some neat stuff to show you. What I'm going to have for you all today uh, is some upgrade parts um, for my uh, Aerofoam MB339, a fan. Um, a speed controller and some really nice gear from JP that I didn't even know existed and we're going to replace the, uh, the stock gear on this. So if you guys like this, uh, what you're going to see here, I'll have more content of these things on the channel to show you after we take a look at this stuff. Um, but please like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that sort of thing, and uh, share the videos. It does support the channel. So let's get into it. I have a 105 millimeter 12 S JP fan, again, that we're going to be putting in the MB339 from Aerofoam, just to get away from the stock fan and just show you guys sort of an upgrade video and also show you, uh, you know, what the JP fans have to offer. You guys know that I've uh, showed these things before on my channel, and I just love these JP fans. All one piece aluminum uh, out of one piece of stock. They, they cut out that fan, and then um, this whole thing kind of screws together. Notice there's no spinner. Okay, I love JP fans because there's no spinning mass on the spinner to spin. You just have nice big long blades that are liquid smooth. It's all dynamically balanced, you know, at the factory. Has a real tight gap right around the edge as you can see there. So you get a really nice sound out of this and it's just, it's liquid smooth balanced coming from the factory. So again, this is going to go in the MB339 and when you get a, a JP fan, um, it does come with your connectors as well, which I'll show you right here, and the heat shrink for it. So you can you can solder those onto your speed controller, which I'm going to show you next. <laughs> and we have this um, uh, the cone that screws onto the back of this thing. Now I'm told that the cone is really intended for if you put an in runner motor on it. So so I usually leave those off because I think you get maximum cooling. Actually, is what I'm told um, without the cone on there. So I usually leave the cones off of all of mine and so forth. So. Again, you've got solder on leads that join up and match perfectly with the leads uh, that they give you or the uh, bullets that they give you. And we're going to solder these right onto our speed controller. So we're going to change out our speed controller also in the MB339. And we're going to go with the JP branded one. So um, pretty much the same controller as the V-Good. Um, and, and I think it's just branded JP, but they got a V-Good uh, sort of uh, instruction manual for controlling it through a controller card or a programming card, which I don't have. But we're going to solder the three of those tips on here, get this uh, in the MB339, and actually it should be a perfect fit because this has nice short wires and, uh, and so forth. So we'll be getting this in there as well. And then what I really wanted to show you guys today, which is really neat, is a landing gear set for the MB339 uh, from Aerofoam. If you guys have seen my videos on that, and I'll probably put some clips up here as I'm doing this, um, it, the, the, the stock gear is really nice, but I've had a couple issues with it. Maybe brakes not working as well. And uh, you know, JP makes sort of the finest stuff around. So, and you can see this is what you get if you order this. And again, this is an option I didn't even know was available until I saw it at Turbines RC. So you know, check it out there. They've got all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, you know, at, uh, at Turbines RC. And this is what you get for this. You get uh, a full set of, of, of apparently drop-in fit. You know, landing gear for the MB339. But it's all, of course jp quality so let me pull one of these out of here i love the packaging the way that they do this because they actually divided they kind of you know used a heat sealer to kind of make a two bag two uh two compartment bag uh out of this one bag which is super nice but you can see right here the quality of that gear and i'll do a comparison actually you know what i have a stock gear i just brought in that uh, comes with the aerofoam plane nice gear you know not knocking it you know they're they're both good gear but it generally doesn't really have the refinement of the JP products. JP specializes in landing gear, and uh, this was the stock brake where you can hear the 
kind of the clanking in there where there's some braking issues with it. It's uh, more like, I don't know, sort of like a drum type brake thing. Whereas the JP is all magnetic and it, you know, it's just, it's, it's glassy smooth as you spin this thing. There's no, no resistance or no hesitation or anything. And the brakes usually work a little better as far as, uh, you know, the JP brakes go. But there's your comparison. Slight differences. You can see they've lightened it up with lightning holes and so forth. And, uh, but it should be a drop in fit and I'll be doing a future video where I'm doing the installation of all of this stuff for you guys. And I'll put links to those in the upper right hand corner when I get them out. So, you know, stay tuned for those and we'll, uh, we'll be giving those to everybody. But you can see there are some differences, you know, in these and they've done them slightly different. There's some things that uh, I think the JP does a little better. And of course they do a refined job. So again, nothing wrong with the stock gear. You know, not going to knock it too much, but I've had a few issues with it here and there, not coming down and so forth. And you guys have seen that in there because this JP has its own, you know, controller board and everything for, for, for retract and extension and brakes and all that. So let's take a look at that. Here's the nose gear. You can see right in here, that's a beautiful set of gear. See how nice this thing is. They've just such a beautiful job with the lightning holes in there. And uh, they have really nice tight uh, E-clips or circlips or retaining rings, whatever you want to call them in there. Great suspension and compression on this thing. And again, we'll be getting this in there for you. That's the nose strut, beautiful wheel, all ball bearing supported on everything. And then you've got the uh, the uh, controller module here, which is actually my first look at this. And there's, uh, there's some tools in here and some bushings and stuff. And there's the control rod. So I'll talk more about this when I do the installation because we're gonna do a separate installation of all of these landing gear le legs and the uh, the JP controller module. So check this out. This is really nice. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in there. Nope. Uh, it's a beautiful machined. In fact, let me zoom on that for everybody. It's a really nice machined box, machined aluminum box. You can see your brake output lines and I just dropped one of the power lines. We'll get this installed as I get into it and we'll show you how all this works. Your, where your servos, retracts, everything goes in, your wheels, your brakes, brake output and so forth and everything's all nicely. Beautiful machine aluminum box. Very, very nice and this is the controller module. Only downside is this thing is pretty big, but they work superior to sort of the stock stuff that sometimes they put, you know, in these uh, in these models that you get. So anyway, folks, that's about it. I just wanted to do a quick show and tell. Stay tuned. We'll have installation videos and flight videos on all of this stuff, which again, I'll put in the upper right hand corner of the screen so you guys can check out because with the MB339 from Aerofoam, we're going to be doing a full install, okay, of all of these retracks, um, the fan. And, uh, and the JP uh, speed controller, because we're gonna go to an all JP system uh, in the airplane. So stay tuned for that. Uh, guys, if you wanna check out Turbines RC, there's some really nice people there, got some nice products over there. Stuff that I didn't even know existed, again, like this upgrade gear, you know, for the MB339. Check it out in the links below. If you guys are in the European market, a lot of guys have wanted to support me and have not been able to do it because I mostly have a lot of US stuff, but no th now thanks to the Turbines RC guys. If you guys want to support RC Informer, use the links below. Uh, we get a little commission for anything you buy from them and it doesn't cost you guys a dime. And we're trying to bring you guys really great live shows and things in a time frame where you all can see it. So, but hats off to, uh, to uh, Turbines RC because they're carrying a gambit of all brands and everything for the European market. So, so be sure to check it out there. So anyway, guys, more videos coming on all of this and other products and things from, from Turbines RC. They got some really nice stuff there. Again, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. We appreciate you guys watching RC Informer. We're going to have some great content coming for you on this and other items. So thanks for watching RC Informer, guys. And as always, see you all next time.